Johannes von Trapp has done for cross-country skiing what the story of his family, The Sound of Music, did for musical film, revolutionized public perception. The famous musical relates the von Trapp family's life in pre-World War II Austria and their flight from Nazi Austria. Johannes von Trapp, the youngest son, was born in their new home, Stowe, Vermont. The Trapp family lodge opened in 1950. I grew up when, uh, you know, in the, in the 40s, skiing when you just had skis. And uh, you had a cable binding that, that you could tie your heel down with or you could set the cable a little differently and your heel would come up uh, fairly freely. Um, and we used to ski around the lodge a lot. Johannes went to Dartmouth College and then on to Yale University where he earned a master's degree in forest science. His Norwegian college roommate introduced him to the Norwegian style ski touring. He returned to Stowe in the mid-1960s to help with the family business. And in the mid-60s, I was looking for something to improve our occupancy in the hotel. And I thought, well, I, I enjoy doing this. Maybe, maybe there's a little niche market there. So I bought a dozen pairs of skis and uh, two dozen boots and uh, put them in a corner of the garage and put a little sign up and nothing happened. So I, I figured that with this program needed somebody to, to drive it, somebody to make it happen, and called up my erstwhile college roommate and uh, asked him to put an ad in the paper in, in Oslo for a ski instructor. And the first one I interviewed was such a nice guy and impressed me so much. I made him an offer right there and he accepted it. And, uh, so Per Sorli came over from Norway that fall and, and uh, was a good athlete, uh, but he had great charm and really knew how to uh, make people feel at ease uh, and uh, came at the sport from, from the standpoint of having a good time. Uh, so it was, uh, was just the perfect guy for the position. In 1968, Johannes opened the first commercial cross-country ski touring center in the United States with the intention of encouraging people to come to the lodge to learn this sport in a fun and relaxed environment. The interesting thing is it, the, 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 the cross-country program grew very quickly. Uh, it was doubling every year for a number of years and then it sort of leveled off. And, uh, and that's about where it's been since. Americans had been slow to embrace cross-country skiing, but concurrent with the opening of traps, the U.S. ski team was finding success internationally. The first women's team started to compete in 1969. The technology was evolving. In, in typical American fashion, um, the manufacturers got a hold of this stuff and within a few short years we had fiberglass skis in varying sizes and shapes. We had no wax bottoms and we had uh, fiberglass poles and uh, lycra suits. And uh, so the, the equipment end changed tremendously. Um, the grooming equipment that was available improved tremendously. Uh, so the, the tracks improved. The first few years of that we were running our program, we uh, aggressively recruited uh, school systems. We had uh, Stowe, Morrisville, uh, South Burlington, and I think Winooski during the week because we had all these rental skis and, uh, and I was trying to sell the concept to Vermont. Um, and then as we, as we got busier during the week, we, we, we couldn't do that anymore. But uh, I think we did introduce a lot of people to the sport. Johannes has continued to try ways to keep traps at the forefront of cross country skiing. Johannes recruited Vermont Olympian and explorer Ned Gillette to head the ski program. Ned brought a new level of energy and expertise. The Cross Country Ski Center celebrated 40 years of operation in 2008. The property has miles of trails, snowmaking, hundreds of season pass holders, and on a busy day, thousands of skiers on its trails. We're still learning the business. It, it evolves. People seem to want to ski on very well-groomed trails and they, they like that we do a lot of grooming. Now we've had the NCAAs here three times. 
the Nationals. And, and that's always huge fun. And it's an impetus to improve the trail system. And this year we're hooking together a, a bunch of trails into what's called a homologated trail, which means that it, it's homologous to other areas, race trails. And it, it meets certain standards for uh, vertical relief, uh, for radius of turn, uh, and width of trail, and so forth. So we will have a trail that meets the standards for major national races. So that's going to be fun. The Vermont Ski Museum Hall of Fame welcomes Johannes von Trapp.